Now look, I'm going to give you a factoid right now. Gave that to my, my, um, my right under my jaw there, so in line with my eye. I mean, that's only logical, isn't it? Yeah, what's going on? Have it out. Can you see me if I kneel down? Okay, now look. See, this is a finger sling, right? This is one of the. This is a Hollywood finger sling. Uh, I always, I've always shot without without any protection. Um, so the, the Catholic Church would appreciate uh, me using protection, but I just never shot with protection. So one day I shot the bow out of my hand because I am renowned for having no hand. I have no hand. Very rarely will I have anything in this hand. It's dead to me. It's dead to me like the mafia. You're dead to me. All right. So uh, I shot the bow out of my hand one day because it went off prematurely and the bow went about three meters forward onto the concrete floor, so that wasn't good. Uh, so since then I, thought, I only thought I should have one but never did. Because I mean, if I lose it out here on the grass, it's gonna be okay. But um, I was uh, <coughs> using one for a little while and uh, I just didn't see the point. But now listen to this. I'm shooting with Metamucil yesterday and um, he says, why don't you use a finger sling? Being a pest, why don't you use a finger sling? Uh, so I put the finger sling on, but what he, what, what he said was, he said, Let, don't, don't grab the bow, let go of the, forget the bow. After the shot, forget the bow. And I had a dead hand, but I would, I would always sort of catch the bow after, not in a jerking fashion like some people do, but I would. And I tell you what, I put the finger sling on, I put the finger sling on, and, uh, and it's still not in my process yet. Half the time I remember, half the time I don't. But I tell you what, when I remember to, to let the finger sling catch the bow and, and for me to still remain as nothing, as nothing with a dead hand, the shot is much better. So, I, I, and I know some of you out there are gonna go, oh, but we already knew that. Well, I didn't know that and you didn't tell me. I just found out the hard way. Okay, off the diuretic. So, so what I'm doing now is, in my shot process, I'm trying to remember to hold that out there and let the shot go, but just do nothing here. Let, let this take care of itself, do nothing. Don't try and catch the bow, forget the bow. That way you won't talk with your front hand, you won't flinch, you won't do anything. It adds to that deadness of the front hand. So that's my factoid. Get a finger sling. I thought it was for, I thought it was so you didn't drop the bow. For protection. It's, it's not to drop the bow. It's to allow the hand to die. It's to allow the hand to become nothing. Do you understand that? I know this is deep. You've got to get it into your mind. The things of archery are not shallow. They are deep things. Deep things. We are delving into the deep psyche of archery here. This is what makes you good. And there'll be more of that later. All right, don't forget that sling.